Um, it's I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's just like like being home and playing for the team you've been watching growing up as a kid is always you know amazing. Um, whenever you can play in front of your friends and family is is always great. You want to go out and do well every time. So being at home, I always you know thought of myself. I want to go out there and do great, but I don't want to overdo it. You know, I don't want to go out there and do something you know that's out of my character. Other than that. Um, I just want to be an inspiration for the kids um, in Atlanta. Uh, do anything I can for them. Let them know that it's possible to to make it out. I did it. You know. You know what I'm saying. You can also do it as well. Of course. I mean, it's, it's so many I watched growing up. Like. I was in the era of watching Vic Jenkins, uh, Ward Dunn, Algie Crumpler, uh, T.J. Duckett. Uh, it, it's just so many I've, I've, I've watched. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to say who was the inspiration. I mean, of course, Vic. I mean, who didn't want to be Vic? Had his cleats, had his jersey. Uh, it's just, <laughs> that was just Atlanta. Um, really, I, I talk, yeah, it's, it's, it's most definitely been a long journey, and uh, I can tell you the difference really is, is just confidence. Um, out here in practice, going against my teammate, uh, building that confidence, I can see the difference in practice already. So um, that's, that's the major thing. I, I haven't even thought about what, what I've been through, really. I mean, you know, I mean, it's always on my mind, but as far as, like, this game going forward, all that's kind of, you know, behind me. It's just all about having that confidence. Yeah, I feel great. This is something we've been working for. Everybody should be prepared for, you know, a hard, fought, tough game. Yeah, I mean, we have a great coach, you know, I mean, he's smart enough, you know, to know that, you know, however the game is going to stick to whatever it is, whatever's working. So it, if it's the run, then I, I guess we'll stick to the run. Honestly, I, I don't know yet, but we just, we just have to see. I mean, it's it's all about. Uh, honestly, that's that's a great question. Um, it's just all about being ready, I guess. I mean, I don't I don't know if playing in a preseason game will get you ready for a game that's two weeks away. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know how that's gonna prepare you for that. Other than that, you know, practice is gonna you know prepare you for that game. You know, studying against the guys that you're gonna be going against. So I, I I don't think preseason is is a major deal. It is, you know what I mean. It, it helps, but it's not a, a a big deal breaker. You know. Yes. Yes, a uh, coach can run the hell out of us, uh, you know, days before a preseason game or those days leading up to it. You know what I'm saying? We, we could probably get more work out of him running the hell out of us instead of us running three plays or a drive and then you're done. Anything else? All right. Oh, random. We've been tweeting random questions. <laughs> 
Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this, is this, are you like peaking some intellectual curiosity? Are you bored? What's going on? Um, actually, I just want to, it's, it's, I think it's actually fun to have people in the uproar. So those, <laughs> so those type of questions really, uh, I like picking people's brains. Uh, I like small stuff like that. Like, it's you know, why isn't cereal considered soup? And is ketchup should be a smoothie because tomato is a fruit. So it's just kind of like screwing with people's brains. And I just want to get you to think, just to think about it a little bit. I, I am, I am most definitely that guy. <laughs> Uh, conspiracy? The weirdest one? Uh, do you actually think we went to the moon? <laughs> okay, do you? Do you think we went to the moon? That's, I don't know. That's a, yeah. I want to keep an open mind about it. That's, that's why I ask those type of questions. Do you think ketchup is a smoothie? I'm, of course, it's a condiment, <laughs> but that's the, the typical. Can it be considered a smoothie based off of how it's made? No, because it is only one food or vegetable. Okay, if you just put strawberry yeah. and ice and blend it. Okay, it's fine. You're so you're, are you try. putting your ketchup in ice? I'm not saying I would drink it. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get you to think about it. I just want to get you to think about it. Not like the ketchup product. Uh. Uh, all right. What about the cereal soup? Why isn't it? it could it be considered soup? So this is what got started in my brain, right? Like I, I, I actually kind of thought about that. I'm like, there's, there's real logic there. I, I can see it. That's all I want you to do is think about it. That's that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you.